All right, so it's snowing today, so I thought it would be a good time to make a quick video on leveraging driver profiles as driving modes for your Tesla. So I already made a video about winter driving and the things that you should do to prepare the car for the winter and for snowy conditions. But now I wanna take that a step further and show you how you can program these modes into the driver profiles that you have up here into weather specific driver profiles, weather specific driver profiles that allow you to be able to quickly at a press of a button, change the way your car handles a certain weather condition. Okay, and so first and foremost, it starts by going into the driver profile menu. In the driver profile menu, you'll notice that it, it has different options to add drivers, but also it tells you what's saved inside the driver profiles. So as I zoom in a little bit here, um, as I zoom in a little bit, it'll show you that the things that are saved are the driver profiles. Uh, again, you can use these to leverage and make weather, what I call weather profiles. Uh, and basically, it's the steering mode, regenerative braking, um, and the mirror auto tilt and fold out. Those are the primary ones specifically when it comes to uh, winter and snowy conditions, but also the temperature control. So if you have temperatures already preset uh, for cold conditions, you can already set those as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead create a new profile. Profile can be, you know, snow. The profile can be called winter. Whatever you'd like to do, we'll just put it for snow for now. We'll say snow is the profile. We'll create the profile. And when you create a profile, after having already been in your, whatever your current profile was, it's gonna retain those settings as the default. So you can go ahead and click save. And now from here, we can start to make adjustments for the snow. So first we wanna make sure that when we're driving, we turn our regenerative braking down to low. We wanna make sure, depending on how you want how you wanna drive, you may also wanna uh, adjust and change the steering mode, um, standard or to comfort or whatever the case may be, because you're driving in snow, there may be a little bit more resistance. You also wanna turn the acceleration mode down to chill. And this is something that came out after the video I released, but that's definitely a, a good and helpful way to mitigate um, the instant torque on the icy conditions or snowy conditions is by using chill mode. Chill mode just reduces that and makes it a more calm and like it says, chill acceleration uh, that makes it easier for you to drive in the snow uh, and the ice without over spinning the wheels or applying too much torque when trying to get out of a predicament. So you can have those already set up. We also wanna go back into settings. We wanna go into vehicle and we wanna make sure that the mirror um, auto fold is off. Make sure the auto fold is off so that when you drive and you park your car, if it's going to be outside, uh, in potentially freezing conditions, you don't want to have your mirrors uh, frozen and stuck where they can't turn out. You want to keep them always out. So that's definitely something you want to do uh, for cold conditions. You may choose to turn off mirror auto tilt, but that's really up to you. So in addition to that, you also want to go back to controls. You want to go to cold weather if you have it, and you want to turn on your seat heaters. You also want to make sure that your temperature at the bottom is set to what you, what you need it to be. But definitely turn on your seat heaters for cold weather. Heated steering wheel doesn't work. Defrosters doesn't work and doesn't retain and set in the profile, nor do the back seats. So if you have a Model 3, your rear heated seats are probably inactive right now, but hopefully soon they'll have them active. Uh, and then from there, that's saved now to the profile. So when you go back and change to a different profile, so you go in here and you go back to the other profile, you'll see immediately that, hey, the temperature has now changed and now the heated seats are now different. So again, this can be your sort of your normal standard driving profile. And then you'd also have, again, a weather-based profile for snow or for rain or whatever the case may be. Okay, so this is just a quick quick uh, update. Hopefully you find this helpful. Hopefully this is useful to you. I think it's a quick uh, way to have shortcuts to get to the different driving modes based on weather conditions that you have. And hope you find it useful. Uh, if this is your first time seeing the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Uh, if you've also used this video to make a determination of whether you should get a Tesla, go ahead and use that referral code in the link below. Until next time, I'll talk to you later.